everyone. I welcome us all to another wonderful episode of our lesson. Today we are going to be talking about honorific pronoun. What do we mean by honorific pronoun? Honorific pronoun is used as a sign of respect. We have different form of honorific pronoun, but today we are going to be looking at a e as honorific pronoun. As I've said earlier, it is used as a sign of respect in Yoruba language. Respect for elders is highly appreciated and strongly encouraged in Yoruba culture. In fact, it is an integral part of the culture. When we are greeting an elderly person, we must make use of honorific pronoun E in the greeting. Let's look at different examples. Kabo, that is said to our mate or to younger one. But when we want to say it to an elderly person, it will be a Kabo, that is, a greeting said to welcome an elderly person. The second one, Kule, it is said to our mate in that context or to the younger ones. But when we are to say it to the elderly person, it's going to be a kule, and that is a response to a kabo. It is said to an elderly person who is at home upon one's arrival. Let's look at some other honorific pronoun in greetings. Karo, it means good morning. We are going to say that to our mate or to the younger ones. But to an elderly person, a karo, which means good morning. A kasan, that's good afternoon to an elderly person. A kurole, that is early evening to an elderly person. Likewise, a kale to an elderly person, which means good evening. And lastly, a kujoko, a greeting said to someone seated, an elderly person. We have some other greetings, but this is where we are going to stop on this. We should remember, extremely rude, not to use an honorific pronoun while addressing an elderly person or someone in higher authority. Today we are going to stop here on our today's episode. If you enjoyed this lesson, kindly join us on our next episode. Thank you.